Hey guys, day nine. This is the coldest day so far. It's about 24 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and the tub is... <laughs> so, it's gonna be a good one. Let me just angle. I'm trying out a different angle here. Let's see if this works. Um, okay, let's get it done. One, two, three. Oh, feels good. It's a beautiful morning as well. Really, really beautiful morning. should probably note that the water temperature was 32 degrees Fahrenheit, obviously, with all the ice. The best thing to do here, and, and it's just to kind of try and get yourself into a bit of a trance, and, and to, 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 it's almost a meditation. Um, there's no other way to really do this, because it doesn't necessarily get easier, you just get... Um, you just get a little bit tougher up, up in the up in the old mind, um, but it is also worth noting that the huge reason why I do this is to be in control of the initial shock of the cold temperature, um, and it's to not learn to not panic, to learn to override the feelings of 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 fear. Um, because doing stuff like this, it can be a little scary. Um, it's to override the sense of urgency to gasp and to breathe heavily. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I do this, but those are some of the main ones. Um, because once you can control that initial kind of, because it's always that first 20 seconds. If you can get through that first 20 seconds, you're going to be in really good shape for the rest of it because then it becomes a bit of a mind game. You, it's a little bit painful, um, but through breathing techniques, um, nice and slow breathing techniques, um, it is, it, it's incredible what you are able to do and achieve and accomplish when you can put your mind to it and doing these kind of cold plunges like this I mean this was an ice plunge um, when you come up against your next challenge your next challenge becomes easy 
because you can think back and say, listen, geez, if I can, if I can put myself and my body and my mind under serious stress for four minutes by doing this kind of work, what else can you not do? Um, you can essentially do anything that you put your mind to. Um, and this proves it. Because if you can do this, you can do anything. Trust me. So... That's a lot of ice. If you can do this, you can do anything. There's nothing that you can't do if you can do this. I promise you. You can push yourself to the limits by doing this kind of work. But I always tell people, you've got to start off slow. You've got to do it gradually. Don't force it. Do what feels natural to you. Um, and listen to your body. If your body's screaming at you to stop, listen to it. That's really important for this. Um, yeah. But I love it. got my eyes on something new as well there's a it's a big rubber container I'm gonna have to wait a couple of weeks before I can get it but um, it's a hundred gallons so I have a feeling that that will um, that, that will be able to fit me so I can do more of an immersion because right now it's up to the kind of top of my chest that's, that's about as deep as I can go on this because my knees are at the top um, it's really not much else I can do on that This is the longest one we've done so far, too. We're coming up to about eight minutes. So that's where we'll stop. It's starting to get quite painful, so we're not going to force it. My body's saying, hey, take it easy now. We're getting pretty close to where we want to be on this, so... And again, look at these... Uh, look at these ice. I love it. All right, we're gonna do a. We're gonna dip our heads in. All right, let's go.